Evening. Well, Mass General has an entire floor in this lab building here in Charlestown with some 50 researchers and 200 support staff all working on cancer treatments. Now, recently, the cancer researchers here and elsewhere have been focusing on ways that they can detect cancer in patients' blood. These blood tests would likely be a lot less expensive and a lot easier than current screening procedures like colonoscopies. The head of MGH's cancer center tells me that the technology is promising, but he says right now the blood test still produce too many false positives. Which is that if you test everybody for a cancer, but the cancer is really rare, chances are the test will make mistakes. And if you have a mistake and you tell someone they have cancer when they don't, that can be very, very difficult. For example, falsely diagnosed patients might undergo costly treatments with harmful side effects. Now, a full study on how well these blood tests work for cancer detection could take more than 10 years, but some biotech companies are developing tests that they want to say they shouldn't wait that long, and they're pushing the federal government to fast-track the approval process. Live in Charlestown, David Binick, WCBB News Center 5. David